find the directional derivative of the function f of x, y, z equal to x, y plus y, z in the direction 2i minus 2j plus k at the point 1, 2, 4. So, I want to unpack everything I need to compute a directional derivative. So we're going to need the gradient and we're going to need a unit vector. First, the unit vector. We're given the direction 2i minus 2j plus k. So that's 2 minus 2, 1. Okay, its length is going to be 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 square root. That's going to be a 3. So that's not a unit vector. I make it a unit vector by dividing by the length. So the unit vector we use, 2 thirds minus 2 thirds, 1 third. Now, I'll need the gradient. So how do we define the gradient? We take our function, take the partial with respect to x, then respect to y, then with respect to z. We load it up into a vector, and then we evaluate at our point. So we work through the partials. So partial with respect to x, it's going to be y. So we treat x as the variable, y and z are constants. I put our point in, so we're going to put in a 2. 2 comes out. Partial with respect to y, so y is the variable, x and z are constants. We get x plus z. We put our point in, a 5 comes out. And then partial with respect to z, z is our variable, x and y are constants, so we get a y. So again, a 2 comes out. So our gradient at our point is going to be 2, 5, 2, or we could write it in IJK notation as 2i plus 5j plus 2k. So now what are we going to do? We're going to take this vector, take the dot product with our unit vector. What comes out? Well, we're going to have 2 times 2 thirds gives me 4 thirds. Minus 2 thirds times 5 gives me minus 10 thirds. And then 2 times 1 third gives me 2 thirds. So what comes out is minus 4 thirds. If we wanted to interpret that minus 4 thirds, we need to be able to see in four dimensions. We have three variables for our function, and then we'd need a fourth dimension for the values that come out. So let's pretend our functions only have two variables, and then we can just draw a picture, and it'll give us the idea of what's happening. So we have our unit vector, we have our point, draw them in, and we're also going to have the graph of our function, which is just going to be some surface over the xy plane. So if I take our direction and our point and the direction of the z-axis, that gives me a plane that's going to slice our graph. Okay, we're going to pull that slice out, slap it up against the wall. So if you notice, what happens? Well, we're going to pull out a curve in our plane here that's going to be from the graph of the function. At our point, we could draw on the tangent line. That minus 4 thirds is going to be the slope of that tangent line. 